I ordered the race deck tile and it showed up within about five days. You can see me here, I'm setting up the initial L shape, which is something you need to do to base the rest of the install off of. But I'll tell you first how the tile showed up. They showed up on a ABF freight, an LTL freight truck, semi truck. He had lift gate service, he had a motorized pallet jack, and he literally parked across the street on a side street and then wheeled it across the street and put it right up to the garage like you can see right here. The stretch wrap unloaded the pallet, moved all 13 cases inside and got ready to do the initial L shape which is going down the front where the door opens and then down the longest wall and that sort of sets up how square your your tiling job is going to go because you want each you want each wall to have just about the same gap going down it when you have to start trimming tile out, but we'll talk about that later. This is the second time I've done a race deck install, and uh, but I'm using a, a different cutter this time, one that was way easier, and I'm going to show that to you later. But my overall goal, goal here was not to, not to kill myself. I wanted to get it done that day, but depending on how hot the weather got, I was willing to take two days to do it if need be. They tell you in the in the website that it'll take you a couple hours, maybe two or three hours. And I found that taking my time and doing this project by myself, that wasn't really reasonable. So I was just going to try to enjoy the process. Some different products out there. I went with the race deck originally in my old garage because of the discount, about a 20% discount fantastic discount that they give to Garage Journal Forum members and uh, yeah, great company. I dealt with them online, I talked to them by email, talked to them by the phone just to make sure that this climate was going to be conducive for the race deck tiles. wanted to make sure before I spent the money and uh, and everything was perfect and it got here within about five days. It ships from Utah, got all the way to Florida. Truck arrived this morning, gentleman had a motorized pallet jack brought it across the street, parked it right in front of my driveway, and here I am, I'm working on it now, so it's time to get back to work. Tell you another little trick with this is wear wear shoes with a hard sole. I started with my my Birkenstock flip flops. I got a cork sole on them. I was getting it done, but pretty soon my heel started hurting. Some people use a rubber mallet to put these in. Uh, most people online, you'll see them do the uh, see them just use your foot, and I think that's about the quickest way. So I, you'll notice in the beginning of the video, I had those those sandals on. Now I changed over into the hardest shoes I've got here right now, and that's my uh, pickleball court shoes, and uh, and it seems to be working a lot better. By the way, you see me cutting these boxes with this knife. This is a Spyderco or Spyderco H1 knife that my cousin Mike sent me all the way from Louisiana. Uh, there's nobody that knows knives better than Mike. The reason he sent it for me was because. It's uh, so, uh, the level of stainless steel, the quality, that's completely salt waterproof. So I can have it down here, don't have to worry about rusting, can take it out with me out there in the water. This thing's got a badass serrated blade on it, but I'm using it to open these boxes and it, it cuts it like butter. Thanks, Mike. So I just opened up one of the boxes and uh, they sent me a race deck t-shirt inside one of the boxes, so that's pretty cool and uh, extra large, which is my size. Uh, actually, I'm an athletic extra large. Okay, let's talk about these tile. Hopefully, you can hear me over the road noise. This road, during season gets kind of busy, so uh, knew that it is what it is. But if you look at the tile, 
you can see the edge of the tile. It's probably all together a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch thick. And it's got a channel underneath in each of these squares so that water can run through and it won't get trapped and cause mold. I'm down here in Florida now and I called Brace Deck and asked them, am I gonna have any issues with mold? Do I need to get the, the flow through ones, the ones that look like uh, the grids? And you can see all the way through them. But I didn't want the dirt to be able to fall through and get trapped underneath here. I thought that would be worse than this, which is just a flat, permanent, well, uh, it's a flat uh, surface. And uh, it's permeable, but only here at the, the edges. So a lot of the water will sit on top, it'll dry up and whatnot. This is the exact same product that I had in my, in my uh, garage where I do my e-bike work and all that other stuff that you've seen in my old videos. I had a different color. Uh, I had the graphite color. This is the alloy color. I was afraid it was going to be too light, but it turns out it's perfect. Works perfect. This garage floor was already painted uh, with a garage floor coating. Just, just a paint. It wasn't epoxy. And already the hot tires here in Florida, they're very sticky. And then I got the Camaro that I pull in here. So it, uh, it, it pulls the paint off the floor. I've already had it repaired once. And then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do the whole garage and these tiles, these tiles have worked perfectly for me in the past. And I don't know why they wouldn't now. But uh, I've been at this for maybe about, about an hour or so. And I'm just taking my time. It's in the afternoon, it's Florida, it's a little warm. It's not too warm. I've got the fan going here in the background. I've got the music on and I'm just gonna keep putting these tiles down. Okay, so by now you get the idea of how this stuff goes in. So I'm gonna work on this and then when I get to having to trim the edges, I'll get back to you. Now I've gotten to the part where a full tile won't work. Going all the way across. You can see I did the rest of the garage already. Had to move all my stuff to get over here so I could put it down. But now it's time to do the, the trim work. So when I installed this race deck before, I used a circular saw to cut these tiles that, that were too big. And I'm telling you, a circular saw, they recommend it, but that is not the way to go. Because the problem is, it creates plastic sawdust, and that stuff goes everywhere. So I researched it, and Race Tech themselves, they use a, they've got a real expensive kind of a chop saw guillotine type thing. Uh, and, and it's expensive. I mean, it's hundreds of dollars. So I did some research, and on Amazon, I found one of those same sort of guillotine uh, laminate tile cutters, and it is, it was just over a hundred dollars. It was like a hundred and five dollars, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll put a link in the description. But this is that, this is that guillotine thing. And so what you do is, it's got a long leverage handle on it right here. You measure up what you need, and you can see that knife going down and cutting. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. But I'm telling you, it puts it puts a straight, clean edge on this that was cut right there whereas if you use a circular saw it leaves it a rough cut and you have to sort of sand off the the burrs and i mean there is just crap everywhere so i'm going to measure up this long wall right here see how consistent i get the size for the tiles i'm leaving a half inch gap around the edge you're supposed to do that for expansion and contraction and let me get that measured up and I will show you how this thing cuts them. So this guillotine has a ruler here. You just have to make sure you orient the tile properly. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mark 10 and a half just so I know. And line that up by eye. Step on it, just hold it in place. Chop it. And that thing makes a really 
clean cut. You can see how clean that cuts that. That's just awesome and no mess. Perfect. I'm gonna finish trimming this out here and then trimming that wall over there. And then I'll be done. It's 8.45 at night and I just finished the uh, job. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the morning after I get everything just a little organized and kind of cleaned up. All right, so we're done. And you can see, and I know that's bright over there, but the trim work, that guillotine chop saw, cutter, tile thingy, worked awesome. You can see how close I was able to get to the lines. I did leave enough room for expansion for the instructions. And this thing came out uh, better than expected because I was doing it. So if I can do it, you can do it. And the garage floor is done. Now the next thing is to get the, get the cabinets and stuff back down here and set my shop back up. It'll go over here. Cars will go over here. And we are done.